So in the last video, I showed how you could add break lines um, and then come in and delete them. Uh, but you might have like a long list of break line groups and you may have like named them poorly like I did here. Uh, but here I can see I have my mid ordinate distance set so I get nice curves. But over here I see that I messed up. Uh, Justin, who has a great blog, uh, pointed out that you can use the oops command uh, to remove the break lines after you delete them, and then Civil 3D won't recognize it. So here I can go ahead and select my break lines and just hit the delete key and erase them or use the erase command and they'll get removed. And then Civil 3D will update it and remove that break lines group automatically for me. Uh, but I, now I don't have those break lines within the drawing. There's an old AutoCAD command, as Justin mentions, called oops. And what oops will do is it'll bring back any objects that have been deleted. Uh, and in this case, it brought back my break lines. But Civil 3D is stupid, and so it doesn't know it. those are gone. Uh, so I can rebuild that surface. It doesn't recognize the break lines, even though they're back in the drawing. And then I can go ahead and add those break lines as fixed and give it a more appropriate mid-ordinate distance and then press OK. And now I have my break lines added back to my surface using the mid-ordinate distance. That gives me a better design. And thanks to Justin, we have an easier way of doing it using the oops command.